so here we are with the Amazon Fire Stick. We already have Cody loaded. Let's go ahead and add Exodus into Cody. Oops. So go on over to System, go down, go over to File Manager. We want to go to Add Source, and then you're going to click on None here. So it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Fusion dot oops T V I think my remote's dying. All right, so it should read HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add ons dot AG. And so when we're done, we're going to go down and instead of naming this Exodus or anything of the matter, we're going to actually label it fusion because right now we are not installing Exodus. We are installing the fusion repository so that uh, we can get Exodus. Exodus is in a long, long list of different repositories or sources from repositories. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. So now we want to go back. We want to go down. We want to go over to settings. We want to scroll down to add-ons. And then we want to install from zip file. And there is Fusion. We go to Kodi repos, we go to English, we then scroll down to Exodus. And it'll pop up with a little dealie in the bottom corner telling us it's been enabled. So now we can go up and hit install from repository. Exodus repository. Video add-ons. Exodus install. Now it's going to get to about 3, 4, 5% of the download, and then it's going to jump all the way up to 100%. Um, I'm guessing it, it must just be uh, the rest dummy files or um, it's just slow to catch up to the download speed. I'm not really sure here, but anyways, it'll get to about that percentage and it'll jump all the way up to 100 and say it's enabled. So it's not going to take super long here. How long have we been on this video for? Three minutes and six seconds now? Seven seconds? Yep, and look at that. Enabled. So instead of launching it from here, we'll jump back, go to videos, go to add-ons, and there is Exodus. So now we can go ahead and launch it, and depending on what you want to do here, um, TV shows are going to be, I mean, it's, you know, any TV show you want for the most part. Uh, you can kind of get a feeling of what there is from the background here. I'm not really going to get into TV shows. We'll go look at the movies because I know that's what a lot of people are after it for is the movies. Uh, let's just go with new movies. Now, this this program here or this plugin has a plugin add-on, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these are all cam videos of Sing. So, I mean, it's watchable. It's 100% watchable, but the quality is not that good. If you're just playing it for your kids, your kids aren't going to care about the quality. Uh, I'm sure mine won't when I play it. So, anyways, it'll go in um, the order of when it was released for the most part. It might be a little here and there. Generally, it'll, you know, let's say uh, Deadpool, for instance, it might be, you know, it was released before Civil War, I believe, but it might be. On the other side, it doesn't go in like, you know, always go in release date order. It might just go by the year in some instances instances, or, um, you know, something of the sort there. But it's got all kinds of movies here for you to watch. Um, yeah. Well, I'm actually, let me go back to that really quick because I didn't really get into the sources. The sources is one thing that, that people get confused on. So let's, let's just launch Sing. I didn't click on it, apparently. Oh, yeah, I did. Oops. Canceled it. 
It's a remote's either lagging or it's dying. I can't tell which. Because I don't open the new batteries. I just use my own. So as you can see on there, it's telling us how much time's elapsed since we've clicked that button. And it's talking about providers. Providers are going to be how many different people have that on their channel right now. Like as you can see there, there's three or four different um, different providers. Uh, Movie 4K. Um, what's the other one say? Torba. Yeah, those are just different sources. So if one source doesn't work, you can hop on down to the next one. All righty. So here we are. So if we were to watch movies 4K, or was that movie XX? We're to launch number one here. My TV's so far away I can't tell. I think it says movie XX. Anyway, so if we were to launch that one uh, and it didn't work, we could scroll on down to the next Y movies. That one didn't work. That one should work, but if it doesn't, again, just keep going down the list. The first one generally works every single time, but occasionally you'll run into a few that don't. Um, but yeah, so that's all I want to talk about as far as that goes. That'll basically cover movies and TV shows because it's the same, same thing, just different things to watch. Search. So you can either search movies, TV shows, people in movies, people in TVs, in TVs, people in TV shows. <laughs> um, so let's go to movies, for instance. I watched this last week and I want to watch it again. It's such a great movie. It's from 1986. used to watch it all the time as a kid. Uh, it's called Rad. It's about BMX bike racing. And, yeah. It's got back to it, too. But, anyways, I'm going to cancel that. That's pretty much the video, guys. That's Exodus for you. Um, this has nothing to do with the developers of Cody by any way, shape, or form. It is just a plugin that was developed by some random people uh, for Cody. And since Cody is open source and they encourage developers to uh, to make stuff for it, they can't really discriminate. I mean, because, you know, these people are pirating shows. And let's say some other people are just making uh, videos or something. Um, they can't kick out some developers and, and let others stay without shutting it down altogether. So not as associated with the developers of Cody in any way, shape, or form. I just want to put that out there as much as possible because if you actually look on Cody's home screen when you go to their web page it's talking about people that sell these for 90 plus dollars and how they're just detrimental to the community they are it's terrible um, but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you learned something I hope that I didn't blab about random crap about it too much uh, if I didn't cover something you want to know more about it feel free to comment below uh, if the video helped you out in any way shape or form like it comment let me know uh don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends guys make it make it known that how easy this is that these people shouldn't be making 90 dollars a pop just by doing something for three minutes you know um so yeah don't forget to subscribe